people do it, and some people, like my father, avoid it like the plague. Yeah. Our next guest has cleaned a few mouths in his day and has an important message for people who skip out on dental visits. Here's the message. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Dr. No. Joel Stokes from Eastern Canyon Dental joins us now with more. How are you, buddy? I'm great. Thank so, you. And you? I, I don't understand why people would avoid seeing you. You're just a, such a happy guy. Ah. Well, that's true, but it's the image of dentistry. Dentistry is a very easy thing to avoid, uh, something that it's... A lot of people put in the background yeah. until they have dental pain. Pain is a tremendous motivator for a lot of people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's an easy, like I said, it's an easy thing to avoid until, you know, all, all hell breaks loose, so to speak. Of and uh, sure a lot of times I see people like that. We see people on emergencies. And my job is to help people um, avoid getting to that point. And you'll see some, uh, some pretty gra uh, graphic and uh, ex extreme cases that, uh, that we've seen, but that could have been prevented. Mm -hmm. Certainly. I mean, pain is, is one thing, and certainly everyone would like to avoid it. There's also health, health risks associated with, you know, letting your teeth go. Absolutely. Uh, we know that uh, the bacteria that start in the mouth, I say they go, they go south, but they also go north. They've actually seen mm. um, on autopsy some uh, oral bacteria in uh, brain tissue no on Alzheimer's way. patients. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Uh, there are markers, uh, C-reactive proteins in the bloodstream. We know that it can affect the, the liver, the heart. Also, the, the infection uh, that happens with, uh, in the mouth can put the body under tremendous stress. And when that mm. happens, the immune system is severely compromised. Right. So it's my job to help prevent things oh. from getting to be that bad. Okay, Ooh. we're in the pictures. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, so these are, I mean, th these are extreme cases. The ones we're looking at are these extreme. These are extreme. Cases. Yeah. Uh, but these things could have been prevented. So we're, and, we're you know, we this. laugh at this, but, you know, uh, things like periodontal disease and yeah. dental disease, they're very silent until yeah. they get to be very bad. And mm. the periodontal thing, the gum and bone, they get to be real bad, and the teeth uh, wind up starting to get loose. Wow. Oh and and it's, it's, it's preventable. Uh, there are some, you know, there are some um, medical issues that, that take place. And, you know, I always think about a, a fellow that I had who was a roommate in, when I was in dental school, he was a photographer in San Francisco way back in the 60s. Cool. And he had a beard that almost covered his face. And, of course and he, he did. he would never smile. He lost weight. He was always sick. Yeah. And I said, hey, Phil, hey, Phil let's, let's go over to the dental school and see what's going on. Oh my. And he had just rampaging dental disease. And oh. we wound up taking him into the, into the, um, into the school and, and cleared all this up. And he started gaining weight. He, started, he says, I oh, never wow. knew that I could feel this good. Wow. <gasps> so those things really can compromise your health your digestion, the way you feel. And, uh, and like I said, it's my job to help prevent it, things from getting that bad. You know, you're so good at your job as well. Uh, take a look at this x-ray with us and tell us what's going on here. Well, here's an extreme case that uh, somebody came in, they were having some dental pain. You can see those big holes in, in the, the last two teeth on the right. Yeah. And th that's just decay. Wow. That, that's invaded the nerve mm. down there and uh, you know, there's a, uh, when it gets to be that bad, uh, it's extensive dentistry, uh, root canals, crowns, or extractions. And uh, I had a fellow last week that came into my office that uh, had neglected himself for quite a while. And he came in, he was, he was like swollen out to here. You know where mm -hmm. he went? Where? To the hospital. Uh. IV antibiotics, and he was admitted. Ooh. Uh, that's just from a long-standing um, uh, refusal to get, to get treated for whatever reason it was. Yeah. It, could be, it could be just, it could be... Uh, just the way you feel about going to the dentist, the fear factor, and that a lot of people have that. Yeah. And we try to work around that also. You know, there are some economic uh, um, mm -hmm. no, barriers. Barriers. Yeah. And uh, we try to work with that too. Of course. Do you find this is an issue with younger people, older people, men, women? Who's worse about not going to the, uh, the mm. dentist? Is it men or women? Who men. avoids it? Men. Men. Yeah, men. See, yeah that mm. sounds about right. Uh, men are more worried about function. They don't, a lot of times, don't come in, come in until it's. It's really doesn't uh, doesn't work the way it should. Yeah, yeah no it, you know I can't chew. Or, you know yeah, my, exactly. my teeth are, they hurt when I bite down. Yeah. Right. women are more a little bit more attentive. But you know there's no age barrier. There's no there's no uh, gender barrier. There's no so socioeconomic uh, uh, barriers. I have people that are uh, you know like in the top one percent of ac and income earners and they avoid it. No, absolutely. They avoid it because it's, true. it's easy to avoid and it's it, a lot of it's fear. It's PTSD from early experiences. Yep. 
And that's the way we try to work around that and make sure that everybody has a good doctor-patient relationship in our office. Certainly, and the point to remind people is pain management has come a long way, so don't be afraid of going to the dentist. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Yeah. You have a special today? Yeah. Yeah, we always have a special uh, for patients that, uh, or for people, your viewers, uh, they can come into our office to get a, a gift card for $100, which they can apply towards any service in our practice. And our uh, office staff is uh, over there uh, ready to take the calls. Uh, come in and see us. It doesn't cost anything to find out about what's going on. And uh, we've, lowered that, we've lowered that barrier so people can actually at least find out with no obligation to, to do anything about what's going on in their, the healthy part of their mouth. Fantastic. Great. Doctor, great having you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you so much. See you. Eastern Canyon Dentals located on Southeastern Avenue, just south of Wigwam. Give them a call or visit the VegasDentist.com for more information. Eastern Canyon Dental is a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend. Keep it right here.